I'm about to go into all the leaked information from Community Day on NBA 2K20, and it's coming right now. What's good? It's your boy Dubs C. P. Welcome to another NBA 2K video. If this is your first time with the boy Dub CP and you want to know more about NBA 2K and you want to know more about Madden and you want to know more about video games in general, then start right now by caressing that subscribe button and hitting that post notification bell. Turn everything on so you don't miss a thing. Let's jump right into what this video is all about and that is community day for NBA 2K. 2K20. NBA 2K decided to bring out a lot of influencers. YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, all kinds of people came out to the community day to get their hands on NBA 2K20 for the very first time. And boy, did they not disappoint us with everything that they was leaking out. There's a social media embargo that they can't actually put out really good and in detailed information until Wednesday, once that demo drops August 21st. But by then, we're gonna know everything we need to know about that demo and get ready for that game to drop on September 6th, NBA 2K Day. Enough of that though. Let's get into what was being leaked and released from the Community Day event. Starting with the Juice Man. The Juice Man three times, his Twitter was on fire. I mean, this man was putting out tweets, playing the game, all in one swift motion. He was giving us nuggets of gold for NBA 2K20. First off being that it's gonna take some time to create your player this year. They said that there's so many aspects to the My Player Builder that you're gonna need about two days just to figure out what player you're gonna go with. I like the depth that they're giving us to create our My Player this year. Hey, I ain't even gotta say it, but I know that that's a W. Speaking of which, when you're creating your player, you get to pretty much have it the way that you want it. And not only that, you get to see what your player will be like at 99 overall. You get to see what the badges will look like with your player. Once you move up and down the attributes, you will be able to see everything and anything that your player will be capable of. I think this is gonna be huge because now we're creating some uniqueness to your player. Not everybody will have the same mold. Yes, there will be similarities. There's so many different combinations that it's going to be nearly impossible to create the same build as someone else, especially if you're playing from your game style. This is going to be bananas. I cannot wait to get my hand on that My Player Builder next week. And then, not to mention the gameplay feel itself. Everybody is saying that the movement is just so much better. The game is so much faster. So that in itself is a W because I can't stand being stuck in mud when I'm on the court. Oh my gosh, I'm just ready to get started with my PG build, the point God build that I'm about to create where I told y'all a couple videos ago. Passing, dribbling, shooting are gonna be my top three attributes because I'm a pass first player but I still need to be able to shoot the tray pound. And also, there was talks about you will be able to equip badges solely depending upon your attributes. That is a W, but you get to choose them. So I can have my point guard with quick first step and range extender. So it's gonna be insane. Not to mention that we get to try them out at 99 overall with max badge capability. This is insane. Oh my gosh, the excitement is too real. Let me know what y'all think about all of that down in the comment section. Everybody was tweeting, Duke, Dennis, iPod, Cole the man. Everybody at this community event was just giving us tons of information that just keeps the excitement growing. My career, saying that the cutscenes for my career are off the chain this year, are off the chain this year, and that they're gonna blow people away. So I'm excited about that. Oh my goodness. They were also talking about the price you'll have to pay 
to actually get your player up to 85 this year. So it's going to take around 190,000 VC again to get your player to max level. We think it's 85. There is talk about people saying that you can get it as high as 90, but I think 85 will be the cap at which you can pay to get your player as high as. Other than that, it's going to be grind. But I think nobody has really talked about the actual grind that it's going to take to get more bars or more attribute points. So that's still yet to be determined, still yet to be talked about. But I'm guessing that it's going to be similar to 2K17 where you actually had to grind practice. You had to grind something in order to get that attribute experience point. But don't you worry. As soon as we figure that out, I got you on that video. How to wrap up fast. I can see the videos coming now. And then another thing that I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about is jump shots. Nobody's really talking about equipping jump shots and having the jump shot meter there. There was a little snippet about the jump shot meter and the feedback you get and the percentage of like the percentage of how well you can shoot the ball, but nobody's really talked about equipping an actual jump shot or a jump shot creator yet. I'm still waiting to hear for that. And if you've heard about that, drop that down in the comment section. And while we're at it right now, let's take a breath. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to me on Twitter, subscribe to me on Instagram. I got plenty of heat for you. And when 2K20 drop, oh boy, you better buckle in because you're in for a crazy ride with dubs. So much to dive into with this community day. So many tweets, so many Instagrams, so many everything. I am super excited about the release of this game. I cannot wait. I don't know how to even contain it, but next Wednesday, it's go time. I will be live streaming the beginning of the demo. I will be on there all night until it takes for me to create my player and get into the game. Another thing that I didn't hear a lot about was Park. I didn't hear a lot of people get into Park because they only had about four hours to play the game, and I think a lot of people use that time to create a build and play with the build. I think they actually got to play against each other player versus player but there wasn't a lot of mention about park i'm wondering if they're holding that for the demo or they're holding that for launch day so i don't know but i'm really excited to see that didn't hear a lot of people talk about my team didn't hear a lot of people talk about the my gm my league game modes either and that's about it folks just know that the community day has got it on and popping and your boy is still super excited and ready to go. I can't believe it's almost here. 2K20 will be my year. And do not forget, if you're interested in joining Dubs or Else Pro-Am team for PS4 or Xbox One, drop your gamer tags and PSNs down in the comment section. Go ahead and just send me the friend request on PSN. It's DubCP. On Xbox, it's the real dubs cp join it and as always i appreciate you watching love peace and happiness to everyone like the video share the video get me out there on and popping baby and i appreciate you for doing so i hope you've enjoyed smash that like button let's get about 100 likes on this video if you're brand new and you want more nba 2k content more madden content anything about games in general make sure you hit that subscribe button click the noti bell for all the goodness i'm out here to do one thing and one thing only i'm out here and i'm trying to boo